Well, you know, it makes sense to do this game because of the recent re-release. Alright, once you clowns bring in that last of the wood, it's time for a lumber camp. Then I'm, now, we have to find some gold. There's some gold. <laughs> gold! Sweet gold. Is it just me? Or does the... Alright, well, we had a crash because... I guess they thought it would be funny if the game, like, minimized and then wouldn't unminimize. So, that was fun. But we're back. That's another thing I like about more modern uh, real-time strategy games is the autosave. Well, let's build some Mongol militia. Oh, we don't have enough gold to hire militia. Well, it's a sad state of affairs. Let's also think about getting some stone in the near future, but not too much. I always remember stone being like the least important resource. Well, I think we've hunted like all the gazelle or whatever they are around this area. Pretty much to extinction. And our enemies decided to attack, but they thought the high value attack or target to attack was not the actual farmers themselves, but the f farm itself. So now this poor lady is now farming on a field that is perpetually on fire. I don't know how that's possible. But that will be her fate. Oh, we don't have. We still have more elk to hunt. All right. Well, here come the first Mongol militia. Fortunately, our enemies have left Genghis Khan's great tent alone. Why he would decide to take it and, you know, build it right on the front lines is beyond me. But do not question the great Khan. Or he'll kill you slow. I guess I really didn't need to build a mill because I remember you can build farms around your town center but it doesn't hurt okay I can't remember how to advance to the next age so I'm gonna assume for now that we can't We have to just take them on with pure militia. But anyway, as I was saying, is it just me or does the guy who narrates the in-between Mongol mission segments sound like the Dahaka from Heart of the Swarm, the I will co I will collect your essence guy. That was good, huh? Oh, that was good. <laughs> no crap! No, no. Oh, 
Okay, well it looks like they all go back to happily farming. For the most part. Why do I suddenly feel like I have way more farmers than I did previously? Someone from here. I guess these guys can go harvest wood. Right, I guess now it's time to throw everything we have into our militia. Pushlock is our guest. It would be most rude for us to send him away. Yeah, it probably would, but what are you going to do? Oh, never mind. There it is. Okay. Like, why can't I research it at the freaking town center? But that's because I was making villagers at the time. Emo. Yes, we're all emo. Emo. I'm pretty sure the Mongol words are we do not sow, but here we are, sowing the fields. What does the loom do? We're just trying to sit here and gather up enough resources to move on over to the feudal age. We need 500 food. I guess in the meantime we can research a loom. I don't see why not. Is there an Id idle okay. villager? Oh, yes, there is. Go get him, militia. I believe. Alright. Rock on! Genghis Khan now leaves the Dark Ages. I think I need more people collecting gold. That was some pretty killer micro by the computer there. Man, I need a monastery. Something fierce. So I had the Festival of Ale the other day, eh? And, uh... Man, that was, that was another crazy night. It just felt like Mexico all over again. I feel like I've been drinking too much. But I generally restrict it to the weekends. Never drink during the weekdays. Or at work, obviously, or anything like that. Uh, pump out some more villagers. But man, I just... I, well, I was there two days. It was a two-day thing. And I was there first off with the NDP. And we were campaigning with our candidate. So that day was, it was I guess, a little bit more work rather than play. But, uh, man, the... The next day, that was that was all play. 
Yes, I, I, I took with me uh, a friend of mine and she came with me as my date or whatever. And that at that time, because I already knew, because the way the Festival of Ale works is like there's about 50 breweries there and you go and buy these tokens. And these tokens are like the way you pay for uh, the drinks or whatever. So you go to your, your, your various brewery or whatever and you give them a token and then they in return give you a uh, glass of beer. So on my first day, I had gone to just about, or most of the breweries or the ones that looked interesting to me and checked them out and saw what it was uh, that I liked and that what I didn't like. And it was kind of like a testing ground, if you will. And then the next day, I knew where to go and what was good and what was not good. And then it was just... All bets were off. I found this one company that was importing various European beers and this is a rule of thumb. European beer is always better than North American beer. So I found this one company that was like importing these Belgian beers. So I went there and they had one beer was was ten point five percent alcohol, which was insanity. I've never seen a beer that strong in my life. And it was good too so it's just like oh i found you want a drink for effect i found the place and then it's just, yeah. do i have enough food wow i do oh, almost i have enough wood is my main problem But yeah, the after the festival veil is done, was just at six o'clock. My friend, she's like, "Okay, what you gotta do is you gotta oh shit." See, look, they just attack the freaking farm. It's not very helpful. You know, well, maybe I shouldn't complain too much. Oh, I thought those were, those were not my men at arms. Oh crap, the enemy might actually have to jump on us here. Where the hell did we end up spending all our food at? Oh, it must have been, oh, because we researched Castle Age. Well, that makes a whole whack ton of sense. So anyway, after the Fizzle Ale, my friend, she's like, what you gotta do, Spencer, is you gotta go back home, because I had brought in a... Thing of tequila back from Mexico because another friend of mine she asked me to bring her back so I brought back a thing of tequila uh, from Mexico and she's like okay what we're gonna do is you're gonna go get the get the tequila and then come back to my house and then we're and then we're gonna get some people over here and we're gonna we're gonna party hard so it was just like a continual night of uh, partying and drinking though there was like a break in between because I came back to her house and she had fallen asleep it's like, oh, you know, you gotta get up, we gotta go. Uh, you know, we, we got to uh, you know, more things to do. And then our other friend came and picked us up. And somewhere in between there, I, I brought out to dinner. Long story short, um, it was a great night. And that's why I didn't record anything this weekend. is because I was at the Festival of Ale. Which is just about as awesome as it sounds. No, oh, right. I like how it took us this friggin' long to invent the wheelbarrow. I don't think we need really any stone. Unless we want to build a castle for some bizarre reason. So are we trapped perpetually? Are we capped at 75? 
There we go. I definitely want to build a monastery, but don't have enough wood to do so. Anyway, I want to see if we were capped at 75. Population. I think we can get a little bit less people gold farming. No, this isn't like World of Warcraft. I tried to get back into World of Warcraft uh, this summer. Just didn't work out. Hadn't played it since high school. No more lumber. No, oh, there's a great place right up there. I should have built a lumber camp up there. Yeah, I'll build one there anyway. Why not? It's Genghis Khan. We must flee. Lee, where? <laughs> I didn't even know we were chasing him. Run away! Run away! Man, some great con you are. I want to be as good as Genghis Khan. I know how I'll do that. I'll, I'll run away like a coward. That'll show them. Okay, I really need more people collecting wood. here to help heal our troops. I don't even have enough stone to build a castle. That's quite depressing. Actually, I saw some stone up here. Go build another mining camp. We'll, uh, Get 600 stone and build ourselves a castle. So it looks like we are supply blocked. It's 75 supply. Devouring the nearby forests. Man, it's, it's crazy that the AI in Age of Empires actually kites away. Now to try and do more damage. Not even like the StarCraft AI does that. That's awesome. Alright, I think we're about ready to, I guess, attack as best we can, considering. Oh, 
works. And the blacksmith. I like how our barracks is still like the Dark Age barracks and looks particularly crappy. Alright, we got our Mongol uh, long swordsman ready to go. Because the Mongols were very famous for their use of long swordsmen. be a little bit more majestic than it is. Alright, let's go. Oh, we should destroy it. Oh, man, like, oh, look at all these scout cavalry just hanging out here. I think we're losing. I don't know. There's so much. I can't tell who's who. Ah, uh, fall back. Fall back. Fortunately, we can quickly and easily replace everybody. We have the resources and the technology. Oh, there goes our monks. I don't know if I should just like run by the Karachi tie. Hey, that sounds like a sounds like a good rap. Run by Karachi tie. Maybe we should build some more. Production unit or production buildings. Wish you could queue up your tech. It's a pain that you can't. I like to have good mix, mainly just a random unit composition. Very effective. Alright. 
Well, we'll soon be ready for our next attack. limit? Not yet. Oh, well, I guess. You know, you are perfectly capable, pick, capable of healing other people, Mr. Monk. Searching does. I have no idea. Not enough gold. Oh, that's a new one. Oh, oh. I think I'll pass on heresy then, because it kills uh, enemy units rather than converting them. But converting them honestly seems more useful. This isn't, isn't it kind of like what Sun Tzu said? That supreme excellence is defeating your enemy without having to fight. Meaning, well, basically, he kind of says that if you can, you know, destroy his army without losing any of yours, you win. My point being, if you can turn their army onto your side, that's even better. I like how they don't like rebuild their buildings. Town center, burn it. Hey, that guy's back. Killing it, guys. I believe in you. There we go. Right now we get to slaughter all the peasants and sow the fields with salt. Well, let's kill everything that they have. Enough gold. Okay, well, let's... Oh, 
put some of our bestest friends on gold farming. Do you have an idle villager anymore? I've got a crap ton of them all up here. Just hanging out. Wasting my time and everybody else's. They send the rest of my units down to help out. Oh, yeah, 